Happy International Women Day, Bonita. Happy International Women's Day, Lorena. Um, so Lorena, I had a question for you since it's Women's Day. Um, I wanted to know uh, what interested you to get in the field you are in and how did you get here? Well, thank you, Bonita. Well, I have to say that my passion started very young. I was a teenager and uh, I was finishing my high school. And already then, I, you know, I was wrapping up with my diploma and went home and I said, well, I want to go to Africa and I want to work in the humanitarian world. And uh, thinking back, um, I think my mom played an important role. She didn't kill my dream and uh, she was concerned about me going so young and she felt that I was not ready and I needed to study more. So she encouraged me to go and learn English and have better opportunity than to go to Africa and do what I wanted to do. When I started, uh, instead of going to Africa, I went to England and I continued my study there, went to university later on when my English was good enough. And eventually, 10 years later, I did actually go to Africa and uh, worked with uh, the United Nations there. And, then, and what about yourself? How did you end up, how did you choose this field and uh, how, did, how are you here now? In my case, I remember that I was a very shy and socially awkward teenager and uh, at that time my ultimate dream was to just leave my country and go abroad because apparently um, it's the land of opportunities and you know when my visa got rejected I was disheartened and everything and I had almost given up on my dreams and my life as well. But then uh, slowly when I picked up myself and uh, in my undergrad degree I um, got enrolled into public health program and then I got to understand the reality of the public health sector and the nutrition sector. I used to think that leadership is an innate quality that I don't have and I was not born with it. <laughs> so I, I, I was waiting for somebody else to take an action. But then uh, one day when I was traveling to this different part of my country, I got a chance to interact with a lot of women and girls like myself and I got to learn about their experiences and their challenges and I think that sort of triggered it is my duty it is my responsibility to take a lead and make situation be situation better for them we are in the spirit of uh, International Women's Day so this year's theme is women in leadership as well so in terms of COVID-19 crisis I wanted to know what does equal future look like for you and what do you envision you know equal future is when Regardless, your gender should not be the one on, on the way for you to achieve your, you know, to achieve in career-wise, be able to, you know, uh, professionally, not making compromise on your profession in order I mean, to become a leader, to be able to pursue your career. And I think still we are, we are not yet there that we do have the same opportunity or the, you know, I think we compromise more as women leaders than men. So what I think is good is that there is not, I mean, woman, a woman can do whatever job she wish to do and men can do whatever job she wish to do and not providing stigma or, you know, pro, uh, stereotypes of what, uh, of what you should be doing as a job. I was just wondering, you know, this last year, talking about, you know, uh, the work and, uh, and the reality that we all face, COVID also brought us uh, maybe some challenges. I mean, when you talk about your, your work, you are very much in, in the field. And so the mobility became a little challenging, the communications or the work you normally would be doing. So how, how was it for you? Yeah, for me as a woman, like when the COVID lockdown started, um, it made me realize the existing barriers we have to achieve equality because the COVID disproportionately affected women. I saw whenever I was traveling to feel a lot of women, they, especially who were engaged in informal economy, they lost their jobs and they lost their only source of income. So it is kind of a depressing situation for us. However, there are a lot of them on the field right now. So all these women leaders gave an example that although challenges are there, circumstances are there that are not in our control, what is in control is our action. Yes, I, I strongly believe that, and I think the work that uh, that you do, and uh, you know, I'm sure that you you 
also uh, inspired other young people because I think sometimes this is also good. I mean, I, in, in discussing, say, okay, what was my experience? And, you know, when I was growing up and when I was, uh, you know, starting my work, did I see myself where I am today? Probably not. I didn't see myself. But what did I want to do? Have I done it? Yes. Did I listen to somebody say, well, no, that's too complicated? No. I wanted to achieve certain things and I went for that. So I think this is what is our strength. So wishing you all the luck and the continuation on the work. And COVID will allow to move better and uh, making sure that everybody has uh, equal access to health, educations and their dreams to, to become true. So thank you very much thank for you your so time. Thank you so much Lorena and I much. wish you the same.